So good to see you again. Good Obviously, to see you. When I first saw you, I hadn't seen this movie. I didn't know what to expect. People were just saying, this is a great movie. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me see it and I'll judge. So when I got a chance to see it, I'm like, okay, I'm sitting here. I'm like, wow, this is interesting. And it got better and better and better. Mm -hmm. And it built. It was a nice, slow build. And I was trying to figure out whose performance is better, mm -hmm. his or hers. Mm -hmm. And then what I notice is you guys complement each other. And that's a sign of not only good filmmaking, but good acting opposite each other. Obviously, wonderful to work with her, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But that's what it's about. It's, it's about being generous and then being there for the story. It's not about um, taking away uh, or, or put someone else in the shadow. That's, that's, no, it's, it's all about what are we telling and then trying to, uh, trying to make that happen in the best possible way. What did you like about when you, you were sent the script? What stuck out for you? What stuck out for me was um, hmm, so many things. Because um, it's kind of it, deep. To, it is. It, it read to me as a very um, naturalistic, weird fairy tale about a very weird prince um, and a weird princess. A very intense love story between two lost souls that bring each other back to life uh, through love and that need one another. Um, and that within a setting um, of the economical crisis. Um, so it has a very um, realistic feel to it. And at the same time, the characters are ambiguous. They're full of contrast. They're, they're, they're so rich. And at the same time, um, yeah, original. And I, I don't mean original in, in the sense of, but they're ambiguous. They're, they're, they have their flaws. They're anti-heroes. They're not stereotypes. They're not, um, you know, just humans with all their deficiencies in them and at all. And that makes them very vulnerable. But at the same time, they have an enormous strength. And um, that's what I liked about it. You know, at the same time, he's doing his best to be a good dad. But life is not easy. And I could relate to some of that because I'm not a father. But I remember that world of martial arts, where you're doing your best to train, you want to do this. But at the same time, you got that little tug of, he's got a son where he's wants to be there for him, but it's kind of tough. And that's a tough world to deal with. So I can only imagine how deep you had to dig to go to that spot for that. Well, how do you, how do you mean? Because it was, it was, okay. it was very difficult to, it's an, it's an emotional film at that point. Yeah, absolutely. The love of your son, and at the same time, to provide and it, it, it's something It's something he discovers, because by the beginning of the film, um, obviously he hasn't raised, raised his kid. So he discovers this responsibility. Um, he doesn't know what it is um, to be a father. He probably didn't have one himself. Um, so it's more like a, a big brother. And, uh, and so he's discovering how to raise that kid. And by the end of the film, he becomes a father. When you think back to acting on stage with your family member, does that help when you get roles like this? Do those thoughts, do those feelings, do that, does that mean, education mean, come in? Um, in, in, in you mean the father-son relationship? Yeah. Well, not necessarily, no. No, no because it, it's a totally different uh, thing. Um, but of course, you question uh, a lot of things if you, if, if you have to portray that kind of relationship. Of course, you're going to look back at things. But, well, for me, acting is not only about uh, translating own personal experiences. For me, acting is a lot, of, a lot about imagination as well. Because if it's only about translating your own personal experiences, then it becomes kind of a sad and boring thing because at a certain time, you're gonna run out of personal experiences and what are you gonna do then? Yeah. You're gonna stop acting? No, and imagination is, is, is the biggest part of it and that makes it fun as well. And it's a combination, of course. Personal experiences can help you to get somewhere. But if it's only that, then, then I think, uh, then I would, if, if it would be only that, then I would not be an actor. <laughs> I know some women that I was watching and would love the fact that you were in shape. Are you a kickboxer and martial artist too? No, 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 no. No, I used to box when I was a teenager. I boxed for, for a certain amount of time. Um, but you mean in the film? Yeah. I was not in shape in the film. I so you had me fooled, see? I grew a belly in the film. I grew a belly in the film. 
uh, and, and I, I trained five months on a daily basis, uh, kickboxing, uh, kickboxing, no, regular boxing and MMA. Uh, I hit the gym to gain some weight, and I ate a lot of junk to grow that belly because I had to look strong but not fit. Mm -hmm. You know, you see the guy eating out of garbage cans, uh, so that guy doesn't have the meat, so he eats, he eats a lot of crap. And uh, obviously he's not going to the gym every day because that's not part of his life anymore. So, but he had to look naturally strong. You had to believe that that guy maybe at some point in his life could have been an athlete. And at the same time, you got to believe that guy can knock somebody out. So, what do you hope the audience takes away from after seeing this movie? What I hope they take away is is um, that even in in, in, the, in 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 the most fucked up situations you can end up in. Um, love can give you a, a new purpose in life. And it might sound lame, but if, if you look at it in a pure sense of the word, um, I think that is what, what the film wants to share. If it wants to share anything, because we, of course we don't want to be too preachy about something. We want to share an experience that is profound and as rich as possible. But I think if that's something that people take home, then I think we succeeded in something very uh, particular. What did you like about the director? I know you adore his work. Um, he's a true artist. And what I mean with a true artist, he's a guy who's not, not pretending to know everything. He's, um, he's questioning himself permanently. He's questioning his story, his actors. Um, so uh, he, he's an intense character. Um, but he, con he continuously um, questions himself and what he's doing and so you have to be prepared as an actor to go there because he's going to wear you out he's going to exhaust you he's going to um yeah he's, he's he's a tough ride but that's what i think true artists are about it's about going further and further and further and not having this preconceived notion about what you're going to of course you have to have a notion of what you're going to do and that he has that but once he starts doing it, he's like, okay, now let's bring it back to life. Mm -hmm. And how do we get there? He said, I don't know. We just got to make it happen somehow. Last question. If, I'm not sure if you have, uh, if you have a favorite charity, what might that be and why? You mean a favorite charity? Yeah. Do you have one? Um, Something that's close to your heart? Well, I, I, I'm part of a charity, um, uh, how do you call that? Charity... Is that, is that how you say it? Just being part yeah. of a charity? Yeah. And it's, um, it's called Handicap International, and they, uh, they sell blue, uh, how do you call these things in your shoes? Uh, laces? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. I ran out of uh, they, they sell blue laces, and the profits of that, um, they give it for um, kids that have, have walked on mines and lost their legs, and, and so, uh, so they're helping these kids to uh, be able to play soccer again and stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And when I go to Belgium next year, where do you suggest that I go? Um, well, I don't want to sound uh, chauvinistic, but I think you should go to Antwerp. Okay. Yeah, it's a wonderful city. You know, like it. All right. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Nice.